Hi guys, today I am going to show you that how to install Cyanogen OS on your U Eureka Plus running on stock Android KitKat 4.4.0. So that was so damn because I didn't have any customization and I get bored. The notification bar was also damn. So that's why I want to install that on my phone. So for that you have to simply go to your PC and you have to download these two things. The first one is Cyanogen OS and the second one is Diver. The link of both are in the description below. So you have to simply go to your phone and open your settings and go to the about phone and tap bill number 7 to 8 times. Now go to your developer option and on that and ok and then you have go to debugging option and ok and that's and then go to your PC and open this file cdnet then you have to simply connect your USB to your phone then you have to open that and click next agree agree and next 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 and that's our installing driver for you and now the setting of network driver is loading it's installing driver for your phone simply you have to wait some time please be patient that's our one time process simply then connect finish and then you have to extract the os file on your same folder extract here guys that's was extracting this process is also used for unbreaking your device or when your device get stuck by you logo so that's a very useful video guys so you have to simply remove your usb cable and power off your device and power offing and when you have power off totally so wait for extracting your device so that's the time your phone into the bootloader for that you have to simply connect your usb cable and press the volume up at the same time so pressing that you will go to your bootloader option say it's giving warning do not connect usb so fast boot mode is on so simply go to your extracted file of the Cyanogen OS simply you have to go to the flash file open it and just press any key to continue Extracting system and that's happening. Press any to continue, press again. So it was getting less time. Time to time it will say you to press any key. So you will done for that. Wait for some time. simply press any key to continue and dots it's asking from press volume down key to cancel and press volume up key to continue so you have to press volume up key simply you have to press your volume up key and that's why it's saying that it connected and asking for press any key to continue so you have to any key and that's happening and you will see the option that's downloading a OS for your file you will see that initializing the Android so guys that's that is one time process so please wait for and that's you will see that Cyanogen yes we got it so that was first boot so this take time so ski i am skipping that part now you can remove your now you can remove your cable and wait for some time see that android is starting and the boot is completed and we have booted to Cyanogen os we started with a new cust with a new room and simply next 
United States. United. With English. There are lots of languages: Marathi, English, Hindi, and that's all. So you have to simply click next. Now skip that part because I didn't write any reference. Skip anyway. Next. Okay. See, you will see the Sinogen OS. And that's powered by Sinogen OS. And that's otherwise you have started by the new ROM that's Sinogen OS. Customization is more powerful. Notification bar was totally different and very useful. You will also see there is lots of customization and the apps are also. The app drawer was also different. See, it's looking beautiful. And now the notification bar was also totally different. Now you can see that I have the Android OS Sanogen 12.1. See Sanogen OS version and also have Lollipop Sanogen mod. And go here, Lollipop. And you'll see that I got the totally different Android. That was very useful. This is my first video, guys. So please subscribe for the more further updates. And so if you like that and you will learn something new today so please subscribe and give like